the distinguished delegate of Pakistan to make a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, it gives me pleasure to congratulate the delegate from Fiji on the assumption as the president of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly. Madam President, today our delegation has gathered here to discuss the intensifying turmoil in the Middle East. Barricades and walls are going up, especially in the European Union, against the tide of misery flowing out of a turbulent Middle East. In many countries, intolerance has revived the ghost of Islamophobia. My country is also a victim of terrorism, especially the ones supported, sponsored, and financed from abroad. For India's information, our Zarbi Adab operation is the largest, most robust, and most successful anti-terrorism campaign in the world. Thereby proving to be a responsible country, Pakistan will raise its voice for establishing peace among the nations of the Middle East. Unless a just and durable solution is found for the Palestine-Israeli conflict, it will be difficult to resolve conflicts and crises afflicting the Middle East. Peace cannot be built when injustice prevails. The Security Council should be ashamed of its inability to halt the expansion of Israeli settlements and enforce the two-state solution. We firmly believe that the creation of an independent state of Palestine based on the 1967 borders is essential to sustain peace. Madam President, Iran and Saudi both support violent extremists and promote sectarian hatred that fuels conflict and chaos across the Middle East. Pakistan is trying to arbitrate, arbitrate and settle the issues between the Middle Eastern giants which will ultimately lead to a peaceful Middle East. Madam President, Pakistan being the only nuclear power and largest military power in the Muslim world can play a positive role in resolving the conflicts in the Middle East. My country will not allow any country to exploit its military strength for their own narrow selfish interests to the disadvantage of another Arab state. The fabrication of an effective conflict resolution forum to discuss and debate the issue of the Middle East is necessary. Special note should be taken that this organization doesn't end up like the humiliated OIC. Thank you.